today we will be using this yarn and this is Red Heart with Love and this is Berry Rouge and of course this is a medium 4 worsted weight yarn. The second yarn I will be using is Red Heart Super Saver and they also have a Red Heart with Love but I am using Red Heart Super Saver because that's the one I have and I am using the color white and this is also a number four worsted weight yarn and for today's project I will be using a H8 5 millimeter crochet hook we are going to start with a magic ring If you are doing the magic ring, you want to put two more chains. And we will put two more double crochets into the ring. This will bring us to have three double crochets because the chain three counts. We will then chain three, one, two, and three. We will then put three more double crochets. One, two, and three. Chain up three, one, two, and three. Put three more double crochets. One, whoops, two, and three. And we want to repeat this one more time to have a total of four corners. So there's one, two, and three, and put three more double crochets into that ring. Okay. After this, we want to put another chain three and we want to slip stitch to the first top of the double crochet, oh, the, sorry, the chain three that we're making. So we want to close this first of all. Close that. After you have come to the end, you want to slip stitch to the top of the chain three and slip stitch two more times. Okay, one and two. Now by choice, if you want to, I like to go to the corner. Um, so it's a total of three times. It's really up to you. It's It depends on what you prefer. I like to slip stitch a total of three times. Usually traditional grannies call for two, but I slip stitch to the corner. And then I like to finish off. Um, I am changing my color to berry red. And if you are following this tutorial, you now want to change your color. So I have changed my color and there are a lot of methods and different ways to join your color. And you can always um, stop this video and get a more detailed video on how to change colors. I like to just tie a knot and I like to chain up three so that can go on over here okay so now that I have chain three I want to put three I'm sorry two more double crochets into the same place we want to chain up two one and two and put three more double crochets into this corner one two and three after this we want to jump straight to the other corner so after you have made this corner you want to jump straight to the next corner right here and we want to put and repeat the same thing we did here which is three double crochets one two and three double crochets. Whoops. And 
and then chain up two, one and two, and then put three more double crochets. You want to repeat this all the way around until you get to the end. Once you've come to the end, you want to slip stitch to the top of the chain three. And that is the second round of our granny square. And again, slip stitch. And then chain one and then finish off. This time I didn't go to the corner by the way. So I'm going to try it out and see if I like it better this way. Okay, so I have changed my color to white and I went to a corner. We want to now chain up three. One, two, and three. And we're going to put two more double crochets into this corner. One and two. You then want to chain up two, one and two, and put three double crochets after that. One, two, and three. Okay, we will now chain one and we will move over to the middle right here and we want to put three double crochets. One, two, and three. Chain one. Into this corner we want to put three double crochets, a chain two, and three double crochets. One, two, three, whoops, <laughs> there's two, three, chain up two, and put three more double crochets. One, two, and three. Chain one. You then want to put three double crochets in the middle. One, two, and three. Chain one and go into the corner and make your corner again. Putting three double crochets. One, Two, and then three, chain up two, one, two, and then put three more double crochets. Okay. Okay, so once you have come to the end, you want to slip stitch to the top of the chain three one two and three okay once you have slip stitched you want to chain one and then finish off so I'm going to keep repeating this until I get full coverage for my dog's back and you should do so too. Every dog is very different, especially by breed. Um, their sides could be wider or their backs could be longer, um, especially like their chest and their neck area. So you just want to keep repeating, um, making a granny square that fits and covers your dog's back and um, from chest and tail. And you can make this as wide as you want or as long as you want. Um, just keep working these rounds, the last round that we did, making the corners and putting the three double crochet and don't forget to put a chain in between because that's what helps put our 
three double crochets in here. So I'm going to continue to make my work grow and I will be back as soon as I get the covers that I need. Okay guys, so I have Hazel right here and I quickly wanted to show you guys what you guys should be doing if you are customizing this for your dog. Maybe your dog is a lot more smaller. So I have finished my granny square that is now 10 rows and you don't want to do it too big and I'm going to show you how much coverage that you want. So what you want to do is place the granny square over your dog just like that and this has enough coverage for Hazel because we're going to put a belt underneath right here like a, a little strap and then we're gonna we're gonna have the collar here at the neck so place it over your dog and if it has coverage up to right here that's great if you want to go one or two more rounds of repeating this pattern go ahead but this is what the square should look like on your dog's body okay Just like that okay so this is what the square looks like we've done one two three four five six seven eight nine ten rounds of round three which was just repeating you know going around with the granny square you are going to take your yarn and you can either make a slip knot or even tie a knot how I usually do but for that I'm not going to just going to make a slip knot and I am going to join I don't know let's say right here you can join anywhere you want to and just slip stitch that through chain one and we are going to single crochet all the way around our work so I'm going to move this to the side a little bit put a single crochet to there So you are going to pretty much put a single crochet all the way around into every single stitch and when you get to those corners you are going to put two single crochets when it comes to the chain two space area. Put a single crochet in there. So I'm going to continue to work across putting one single crochet once I get to a corner I'm going to show you guys what to do next. Okay, so I'm coming up to a corner, and you want to put a single crochet into these three stitches right here, and then you want to move to this corner right here and put two single crochets into that space, one and two. Then turn your work upside down, because you're, now you're starting to turn your work, and then you want to turn your work as you're working so I was on this side and now I'm kinda just turning my work and then just continue to work one single crochet all the way around Okay, and you want to repeat this for two times I did two times and if you want to do one round of single crochet that's fine that's totally up to you and it's optional but I'm going to do two rounds so all you have to do is when you come back to the beginning of the round where you started, all you have to do is slip stitch to the first single crochet and then chain one and then continue to work around and repeat the same process and then finish off for the second round. Okay, so we are now going to be attaching our yarn to one of the side of the granny square sides. I chose this side. Um, 
So we're going to connect one, two, three, four, five to the fifth three double crochet set. And just going to pull that through. And I went to the first single crochet up. And I just follow this um, stitch right here. So now I am going to tie a little knot. You can join however you want to. Okay, so we are going to begin by single crocheting and um, we are going to chain one first. We are then going to single crochet into the same stitch and then put one single crochet into the next five stitches. Two, oops, so there's two three, four, five, six, into this next stitch. Chain one and turn your work. Row two, you are going to single crochet into the same stitch and single crochet once across in the next five stitches. So there's two, three, four, five, and six. Chain one and turn your work. For row three, chain one and single crochet into the same stitch and put one single crochet across. And after this, all you want to do is complete as many rows as needed. And we are now on row 14. What we are going to do is put one single crochet into the first two stitches. We will then chain two, skipping two, and join with a single crochet to the second to last stitch. And then put a single crochet into that last stitch. And we now have a little hole for a button. For row 15, chain one and single crochet into the same stitch. Single crochet into the next stitch. Where you come to the chain two, you will put two single crochets for the missed stitches that we had taken out here. Put a single crochet into the last two stitches. Chain one and turn your work. We are going to instantly single crochet two together. To do a single crochet two together, you are going to put your hook into the first stitch, pull up a loop, you should have two loops on your hook, go straight into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. So we have decreased one stitch. You want to put one single crochet into the next stitch and put another single crochet into the next stitch. We will then do into these last two stitches a single crochet two together. So pull up a loop and go into the next stitch, pull up another loop, yarn over and pull through two. Chain one and turn your work. Single crochet into the same stitch and put one single crochet across. Okay, and that is it for our little belt. To begin, chain 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. After you have chained 15, you want to yarn over and put one double crochet into the third chain from the hook. One. So we now have 13 double crochets and with this skip two you will have 14 double crochets. For row two, chain three. Turn your work. We will now be working into the back loops only. 
and you want to put one double crochet into the back loops only Okay, so we've come to the end and you don't want to miss the last stitch which is that chain two that we missed and we're going to work into the back loop only putting a double crochet moving on to row three chain up three one two and three and turn your work so we are going to be repeating what we've done here, which is working into the back loop only here and on throughout. And we are going to be working as many rows as necessary, which should be the 11 and a half inches measurement that we got. Unless you made your square a little bit bigger for a smaller, bigger dog or a tinier, smaller dog. So go ahead and keep working these rows until you get the measurements that you need and I will be back as soon as I get done. Okay, so I have come to the end of row 21 for the collar and I am going to chain one and I am going to put a single crochet around my whole work. So around here and right here and right here all the way back up right here to straighten out my work. Okay, so I have my collar single crocheted all the way around. That's what it looks like. And you can join to the neck however you want to. I cut a really long tail at the corner and I am just going to sew this together. Okay, so I've come back and this is what our work is looking like so far. As you can see how I attached it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my work on its side and I'm going to fold it in half and leave it like that. And then what I'm going to do is begin making the straps. To make the strap I'm going to go to this corner and I'm going to go to the first double crochet in that third cluster right here and I'm going to go up and then put my hook through there okay and you can put it as far up or as low as you want this is going to be for the chest and I'm going to bring my loop through and then tie a knot after I have attached my yarn I'm going to chain one and single crochet into the same stitch there's one, two, three, and four. Then there's five, and there is six. So you just want a single crochet into the same stitch and put one single crochet across. And you want to repeat this until you get the length that you need. So we were on 11, I chained one and I turned my work. So now you want to single crochet into the same stitch and then single crochet again into the second stitch. Chain up two, skip one and two stitches going to the second before the last. Put a single crochet into there and put one single crochet into the last stitch. So you have four single crochets, two missed stitches, and a chain two. Chain one and turn your work. After you have chained your work, you want to single crochet into the first two stitches. Put one single crochet twice into that chain space. You then want to put one single crochet into the next two stitches. Chain one and single crochet across. Okay, so just put one single crochet into the very last row. 
one, two, three, four, five, and six. You can decrease the last row if you want to, to match this one, but I didn't want to do that for, I don't know, I just don't want to do that. You can decrease if you want to, but I'm going to chain one and finish off. We came to the end of round 14, I believe. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yes. So we've come to the end of round 14. You want to chain one and finish off and weave in your ends. Okay, so after you have folded your work, what you want to do is just line and match up your buttonhole and just um, take some yarn with the needle and sh put them on. And there we have it. There is our small size dog or cat granny square sweater. It is so cute, isn't it? I really love the colors that I used for this tutorial. You guys got to really try out um, Berry Red by Red Heart with Love. So thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy it. It's definitely something that I love so much and that um, you guys must try for your guys' pets. It's so adorable. It's so old-fashioned looking when you put it on your pet. I love it. I absolutely adore it. Um, if you do like this video, please do not forget to give it a thumbs up. If you guys haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel for the latest and my um, upcoming videos that I will be coming out with soon. Leave a comment too. You guys know that I love comments and I also love photos. If you guys decide to try this sweater and you guys decide to make it, um, please do not forget to send me a picture to my email. And my email is in the description box below. So I will see you guys in the next video and take care until then. Bye guys.